Hey, hey, it's Leanne and Simon on Loving Life Now for today's topic, Is It Worth It To You? And we're streaming live over here on TikTok and we're live over here on Facebook. So well, thanks. we can do some sharing. Good, you do that. Thanks, Lee. Thanks for uh, the introduction here on Facebook on Loving Life Now. Of course, as you join us, we'd love to welcome you to this evening's stream. So pleased to be back. We've been off for a couple of weeks. So this is our first Facebook Live for 2022. Well, Happy New think, Year, everybody. I, I think we're up to episode 94. Are we? Yeah, I think so. 94. Yeah. How's that? Cool. We've been doing this for 94 episodes. That's a um, few, a few Ala weeks. says, hello. Hi. Kay, hello to you. Ala Huli says, hi again. Uh, Peggy, hello 2022. So nice to see you both from Perth. Yay. Hello, Peggy. Welcome to our stream. I'm just We're just saying that. First stream back for 2022. Pop your details in the comments. Let us know where you're streaming in from. We'd love to welcome you to this evening's live stream on Facebook. And if you're watching us on TikTok, over to my right, Hello. Um, pop your details in. Let us know where you're streaming in from on TikTok. We'd love to welcome you there as well. Uh, Chicka D, hello. Cheryl Mapp, hi from Sydney. Craig Happy and New Chloe Year to you. And Tash and Sophie. Uh, Alia, hi. How are you? We're great. Laurie and Yapoon. Maria, hello. Bernie, hello to you. Agatha in Melbourne, welcome. Richard Wiseman in Hampshire in the UK, welcome. Hello, Karen. Hi from Tony and Steve. G'day, Tony and Steve as well. Aaliyah in Melbourne. Welcome. Yep, I knew you were in uh, Yapoon, Laurie. Thank you. <laughs> so make sure you let us know where you're streaming We've in from. We'd love to welcome you. Zoe from Melbourne. We've got Serena from the Central Coast. Someone from the Sunny Coast. Uh, Michelle Peel says, hi, great to see you. Happy this year and welcome. Hello, we're Michelle. always happy, Michelle. Shannon Gordon. <laughs> good morning. Good evening. Um, Shannon from Canada. Oh, my goodness. What's a dime in Canada? <laughs> Early morning. Hi guys from Sydney. <laughs> Hello, Shani. Uh, Melissa Johnson, Canberra. Oh, I can never pronounce that surname. <laughs> G'day, Mel. How are you? Hi. This Mel. Hi this from Sydney. Mel. Uh, good to have you here as well. So, um, really pleased that people are popping their details and let us know. Um, Karen said they're flooded in Antigua. Oh, of yeah. course. Well, you got lots of rain up north. That's right. Thanks, Melissa, laughing at me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying um, to. Alia says that blue top looks nice on me. There you go. Oh, what about my pink dress? <laughs> yeah, we're pretty colourful, aren't we? You're in pink, I'm in blue, and blue yeah. and blue. No, I can't for some reason post. I'm on... meant to be sharing, not posting. That's what I'm doing, yeah? <laughs> Lee's doing shares across our pages. Mm -hmm. Brett Hudson, hello from Brett and Nikki from where? Buchan. Buchan? What's that? Where's Buchan? Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> is that some code word um, or is that a... You're on camping somewhere? Are you away? Hello, Alicia. Hey, Kay Tash. says good morning from Boston. Hey, Kay. Welcome. Thanks All for joining right, us. I'm almost done. With nice and early in Boston. Yeah. I think we have a great topic we're here to um, talk about. I think I'm done. Uh, Alicia's just, just finishing up the posting. But our topic for this week and, uh, is called, Is It Worth It To You? And I thought what a great topic it happened to be um, on the start of 2022. Yes. Yeah. Like, is it worth it to you? Well, we're going to of talk about is. that. Right. Is 2022 worth it to you? Absolutely. Um, what are you going to get out of life over the next year? And uh, thinking about, you know, reflection on what uh, what the last couple of years was like and, um, and of course, what we can create in 2022. What can we do better? Mm-hmm. Ah, so um, so is it worth it to you? Well, let's uh, let's before we jump into the topic, Lee, um, our first stream back for 2022. So yes. welcome to everybody. Welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome <laughs> back. That was a uh, that was a theme song for um, Welcome Back, Cotter. Anyone old enough that remembers no. that show? Welcome no back, idea. Cotter. And welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Moving right along. <laughs> right. So, um, so anyway, so we're back in 2022, and of course, um, episode number 94, I think it was. We've been doing this for 94 episodes. Do you believe that? Wow. Talk about commitment. We are committed. We are committed. Talk about commitment. 94, and then we've had the odd weeks off here and there for you know holidays. We've been away, birthdays, or we've birthdays, Christmas. or we've uh, or we've um, had time off at of Christmas, New Year. But uh, episode 94, that's. That's awesome. We're, gonna, we're getting close to that 100 mark. Yeah. What are we going to do Ooh. for episode 100? We'll have to work yeah, out when that cool. is. And maybe we'll have to do something special for yes. episode 100. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and of course, we get to talk about personal development, and we love to do that. We bring a topic forward each week, and we uh, explore the concept of the topic, mm -hmm. talk about it from our perspective, from what we read into it, and uh, 
share it with you guys. And of course, we love the interaction. So happy for you to interact and chime in with your uh, comments in the comment section. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love to read them out. And it's, uh, it's well, we makes it... We might not read all out. Depends no, on we don't read yeah, them all we'll out. We'll see how we go. Look, it, it makes it exciting. It's all about interaction, right? And uh, we do this because we love to deliver some PD content and just from our perspective. So mm -hmm. that you can get a, possibly a different perspective around... The topic. So just an update, we've got a whole pile of new people on. So we're streaming here on Facebook, but we're also streaming over here on TikTok. So we're not talking necessarily to you guys, but you're cool to listen in. Absolutely. So the topic is, it is worth it. Yeah, sorry. Is it, is worth, it worth it, it to, to you? you? So is it worth it to you? Well, um, so let's just cover off. And we, we had a great Christmas so mm -hmm. uh, and a great New Year. And we're back into the swing of things. Been working hard at it this week. Um, certainly did a little bit of work between Christmas and New Year. Yes. Made some calls and... And, and lots of cocktails. Uh, got welcome to our, our new team members. We did. We've had cocktails after cocktail <laughs> after cocktail. It was like the cocktail <laughs> couple weeks. <laughs> oh, we're loving those cocktails. <laughs> I was the bartender, so. Yeah, you're the cocktail Being queen. <laughs> cocktail queen, making all those cocktails. You do such a great job. We had a New Year's Eve party at our place with um, some friends who were able to join us, and uh, we made it a cocktail night, of course. So. We did. Um, so the Facebook, guys, someone's asking for the Facebook. It's Loving Life Now and the number two Loving Life end. Now number two. That's, that's the username. That's the, the username. The business page is Loving, Loving Life, Life Now, now. Yeah. with Leanne Haggard. But the username is Loving Life Now number two. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, so we had a great time. And, of course, this week we've been back into work. No kids this week. Uh, school holidays for us is week on, week off. So uh, this is our <laughs> week off. <laughs> so uh, we, get to, we get to knuckle down, get into business and... And just um, enjoy some quiet time before we get the kids back exactly. on Monday. All right, let's jump into our All topic. Right, well, let's go back into the topic. So is it worth it to you? Well, yes. you've heard, everyone would have heard, that in order to create success, one needs to trade in their problems for a bigger set of problems, Lee. Right. That sounds like fun. Yep. What do you reckon about that? Mm -hmm. So in order to achieve success, you would have heard that you've got to trade in your problems for a bigger set of problems. What do you reckon that would be? Well, the bigger the challenge, the bigger the reward. Yeah, and the bigger the problem you create. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> right. So a, a great quote that we love is, Don't wish it were easier, wish you were better by Jim Rowan. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Wish you were better. That's a good way to think about starting 2022. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. So how can you be better Don't in 2020? Don't wish it was better, wish you were better. That's right. And... Uh, how can you be better in 2022 with what you do? So to create happiness in your life, you must be able to find joy in the challenges they, that you face, regardless of what they are doing to you. Mm -hmm. And often we say, you know, if something challenging happens in your life, there's two things you ask yourself. Lee, do you remember what they are? Um, what can I learn from this? Yep. So number one is what can I learn from it? Mm -hmm. And number two, do you remember number two? Um... I don't know. What's good about it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what's good about it? So in the in the uh, in the challenging times, ask yourself what's good about it. So in the challenging times that we live in, ask yourself what can we learn? What can we learn from this? How can we be better? And uh, and what's good about it? Right? Mm -hmm. We can always look for the good in a negative situation. Yeah. Um, and that certainly helps us create um, a different mindset. Helps us create the success that we're looking for. So everybody has competing priorities in their life. We know that. Yes. We do. <laughs> we right? all do, yes. We've got competing priorities. We've, no, we've got more competing priorities than anyone no. else. We do. No. Nobody has the, priority, <laughs> the competing priorities and challenges that we have. Okay. We're unique. We are unique, yes. <laughs> We're different. All guys. right. So, I'm, of course, I'm joking. So we all have competing priorities in our life and we all have challenges and we all have problems. I don't like the word problem. No. I don't. Because I don't believe that there is such a thing as a problem. Because if you've got a problem, you've got to find a solution. Yes. So to me, it's more of a challenge. Yes. It's not yeah. a problem. Mm -hmm. So if I'm being challenged by something, you know, if you use the word challenging as opposed to the word problem, you're actually going to shift your mental thinking around that challenge. Mm -hmm. Right. If you think it's a problem, it could really annoy you. Yes. And as I like the saying, rather than using frustrated, you use fascinated. That's right. 
Yeah, so change some of the words up in 2022 about, you know, the word tracks that you use and what you say and what you speak into reality. So let's let's just go back to this. So everybody has challenges in their life, not problems, regardless of their situation. We all face them, mm-hmm. right? We all face them at different stages in life. Um, we're all trading our lives for something and we all deal um, with the challenges that we have on a day-to-day basis. Well, most of us deal with our challenges. Some people might go and hide their head in the sand. They, look, they <laughs> might. They might. They yeah. might go and hide their head, but, uh, you know, we've got to face up to the challenges and overcome them and, <laughs> and come out the other side. So the question is, do you personally feel, do you personally feel that you are trading your life for something that is worthy of you? Hmm. Right? It's a really good question to ask yourself. Do you feel you are trading your life for something that is worthy of you? So are you giving up your life and time and energy into something that's worthy of you? Mm-hmm. Right? So are you going after what you want to go after or not? Mm. Bruce has just joined us. Bruce says, and Peggy right? says, there's always a solution. I agree with you, Simon. We don't like that word either. Life can be fascinating and has its challenges, but we can deal with it when needed. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't, I don't think problems are... Problems not a word. Like, it needs to be a word. It's a, it's a negative word, right? Yes. And we replace negative words with alternate words that have a more positive Well, I've, actually, there's a TikTok that I've seen. It says, um, replace the word problem with opportunity. And the TikTok yeah. is them saying, I have a drinking opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> You need to do that one. <laughs> I do need to do that one. I have saved it actually. <laughs> All right. That's pretty funny. So does the reward for successfully dealing with and managing the the, the uh, challenge associated with pursuing your passion feel like a fair trade-off? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that again. So does the reward that you're going after for successfully dealing with and managing your challenges associated with pursuing your passion um, feel like a fair trade-off. So do you mm-hmm. feel like that it's a fair trade-off um, to be challenged in order to achieve your rewards? Yes. Yeah, I think that, of course, right? You don't get everything for free. No. You, know, you, you can't just expect everything to happen without actually doing something. Absolutely. You, if you're going to go after something, you've got to expect that there's going to be a challenge to it. Yes. And you're going to be faced with some hurdles. You have to do some work. Absolutely. All right, so an example of this, I want to share an example. So let's say you're a, um, a good football player, right, and you want to play football. You know that when you play football, there are certain realities around the risk of playing football, mm-hmm. right? So you could get personal injury, you need to manage your fitness, you need to manage those personal injuries, but it's a true passion of yours. And so you're going to get as much out of the pursuit of being successful in football than paying for it, right? And mm-hmm. paying for it in your body and your injuries and those sorts of things. So there's a risk associated with everything we do in life. Yes. So let's say we wanted to be a V8 supercar driver, like me. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, I want to be like Mark Scaife. You think you're Ricardo when you're driving <laughs> around the Mercedes. <laughs> I do think I'm Daniel Ricardo yes. when I'm driving around the Mercedes. All right, so if I wanted to be a V8 supercar driver, I know that I'm going to be faced with certain challenges, mm-hmm. right? I've got, to, I've got to have a certain fitness level. I could, could have an accident, a serious accident. Yeah. So there's, there's a high risk of, of personal injury being mm-hmm. a V8 supercar driver. Um, but it's a passion and I want to follow that passion. So am I prepared to risk it? Um, am I prepared to risk it for the potentiality of an injury, right? Mm-hmm. Now, it's likely that I could sustain an injury in a crash. It's likely that I could avoid one as well. Yeah. And as a professional football player, it's likely that at some point I'm going to sustain injury, but I could avoid it as well. Mm-hmm. So the purpose of sharing those examples with you is that people that are passionate about something and want to achieve success at something will go after it, even though there's risks associated with it. Yes, for sure. So have you ever done anything in your life that you knew that there was a risk associated with what you were doing, but you still did it? Yes. Like what? Bungee jumping. There you go. You bungee jumped. Mm -hmm. And the risk was the band would break. Well, I didn't really think about that, but my eye got hurt. So what was the risk? The risk was you put your neck out, your back out, your body out? No, my eye had a blood vessel burst or something. Oh, really? Yeah. But did you think that was a risk when you jumped off the... But you get a... 
blood vessel burst no. in your eye? No. 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 But you look at us when we took the Mercedes out to Queensland Raceway. Yeah. And we drove around the racetrack and got up to 183 kilometres an hour down the straight and raced around the track. There was a risk associated with us driving on that track, was there not? Because the car wasn't insured. Correct. So when we were going around the racetrack... A nine-day-old Mercedes. The car, there's nobody that it will insure you. No. We rang around. We tried Shannon's even. Shannon's wouldn't insure us. No. Um, and uh, so there was a high risk. So we went we went about it. We, uh, we drove around the track and we knew that if... We lost control of the car Weary. and put it into the fence. Not good. <laughs> then that was never going to be good. But did we think about that? No. No. That's the difference, right? Why didn't we think well, about it? Well, here's a great story. But why didn't we think about it? Because we didn't want it to happen. We were nervous, but we just we just went after what we wanted because we were passionate about it. Well, how's a great story? There's one guy that came along and he brought a spare tire with him. Yes. <laughs> and because I think he heard we got last time it happened or whatever. So he's the only person. The only guy, the right? The only one that brought a spare tyre. He's the only one that needed a spare tyre. Exactly. Because his tyre got, what happened to well, him? He, 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 he fishtailed off the corner yeah. of the straight and, uh, and blew the edge of his tyre and had to repl- and like save the car, didn't lose it. But split the tire on the edge of the raceway, and he's the only one that did that. And And he's the only only guy brought a spare with him. (laughs) Brought a spare tire. Mercedes don't have spare tires. No, isn't that funny? So I had a um, tell this story at the same time. I was driving to Brisbane the other day, and I had a um, uh, a delamination of my tire on the on the Audi, and it just um, shredded. So it lost all its tread, just started to like decompose, well, not decompose, decompose. But it's almost like, well, it it's died. called delaminate. <laughs> so it's where all the different layers of the, yeah. of the rubber actually start to come apart. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize the tire was fine. It appeared fine, but inside it wasn't. And when I got up to high speed and it was making a noise and I commented to my son, I said to him, that's really loud coming out of that tire. Maybe the tread's getting lower than what I thought and it needed replacing. So it wasn't bald. If you watch, if you saw it on TikTok, it wasn't bald. Not bald. It wasn't like it was. There was no threads hanging out of it. Um, it actually looked perfect, the same as the other back tire. But what happened? What well, as we were driving along at 110 kilometers an hour, the the tread started shredding. Right. So it actually went under the car and went under the car behind me, and they're following. And my son said, "Oh my God, Dad!" They put their hands over their mouth, going. <gasps> Because they, because the tire came shredding underneath the car mm. and went underneath there. So, um, why was I sharing that story? <laughs> I have no idea. But hey, now, um, <laughs> it, had, it had something to do with, um, <laughs> it had something to do with obviously the the car and yes. the risk, right? Yes. So the risk that we take. So Bernie says, um, if the driver focuses on the wall, the driver hits the wall. Which That's is right. True. Yes. Well, I was lucky. I was lucky. I kept control of the car and, yes. and we we're able to pull safely. Onto the M1, and of course, for all those people out there, you get, you are not allowed to change a tire on the M1 freeway we, we between video, Brisbane and the Gold Coast. We posted was, the video on TikTok. Oh my god! We got I got hammered, har- hammered slammed. People think you I don't know how to change a tire. tire. You, should, you should have changed your tire. Why don't you have a spare tire? Why don't you have a spare tire? Some people, some people said it's illegal not to have a spare tire. It was illegal. In a car. Your, your tire was illegal. <laughs> <laughs> people have people have no idea. They're so opinionated, and they have no idea. Yeah, it's pretty funny. To so, so let's just anyway. confirm that all European cars, new European cars, do not have spare tires, right? Mercedes, BMW, Audi—they've got rid of spare tires, and you have what's called a, a tire kit that that actually squirts liquid and and stuff inside the tire and plugs the hole and enough for you to get back to safety. But this is not a hole. But you can't you can't do that on the M1 anyway. No, and it wasn't a hole. No, this was this was literally this Next tire level. was ruined. It was ruined. Anyway, moving right along. All right. So so we talk about risk versus success. Yes. Right? I don't know what my success was trying to get to on the M1. <laughs> trying to get to Brisbane. Anyway, it was an expensive exercise. It cost me Six hundred and ninety dollars to get two new tires fitted to the back of the car. Yeah. To put on the front, two on the back. Anyway, so that was an expensive trip. Right along. All right. So, what's the alternative to risk versus success? Well, the alternative is not to play football, 
right? Yeah, don't drive. Or, or don't drive the V8 around the, around the track. No. Or don't become a V8 supercar Just driver. stay stuck in your little bubble in your house and don't take any risks. Yeah. So do something less abusive on your body, less risky. Don't do it, right? Mm -hmm. That's your alternative. Um, now, what can that lead to? Regret. Regret. Of course, what? Oh, Why did you... I should have done that. I missed out on that. Risk was risk versus reward, right? So if we don't go after the reward, we're not prepared to risk it for the biscuit, mm -hmm. then um, we'll what are we going to do, right? So it can lead to regret, as you said, and some will do, they'll just play it safe, but they'll still end up with problems. So people that play it safe don't necessarily stay safe. By playing it safe, it's not necessarily the safer option than taking the risk. Yeah. Something could happen to you. You could still injure yourself down mm -hmm. the track. Yep. Couldn't you? Mm -hmm, totally. It's a bit like what's going on around the world at the moment. Exactly. You Who can, knows? You can take it or you can risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so on the other hand, a person a person decides to go for it. Let's say they just decide, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it in life. I want, to, I want to create success. I want to... I bigger want to the be... risk, bigger the reward, yes. Absolutely. I want to create more success in my life. I want to earn more money. I want to live a better life. I want to lead by example. I want to be a better person. So, but guess what? They get badly injured and they can't follow through with their passion. Mm -hmm. So how do they feel? Sad. Well, they do, but they but they paid the price, yeah, and they didn't get what they wanted. No. So, in hindsight, do they look back and think, "Oh, oh my God, I should never that. have done it"? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I don't think so. I think they would go. You know what? Oh, I'm I so glad best. I did my best. I took the risk. I backed. I know. I backed myself. Yeah. And I didn't get it. It didn't yeah. didn't work out. But that's oh, well, okay. At least I tried. At least I tried. Um, there are no guarantees in life. Do you know that, everyone? There is no guarantees, no guarantees in life. No matter really? what you approach, there is no guarantee. So in the past, a study was done, and being bold as possible was actually the safest strategy. Do you believe that? Mm -hmm. they, they, did a study, that yeah. they did a study on human beings, and the safest strategy was to take bold action. To be as bold it as possible. It was the fighter pilot, pilot's. pilot's. That didn't take risks of the ones that got shot down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I did a study on fighter pilots, on their mental capacity and how they operate in um, under duress, and uh, those that took bold action and uh, were being bold was the safest strategy. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you do in life, guess what? Life is a game of chance. Odds are a hundred percent you will lose eventually, and a hundred percent you will win at times. That's right. Sometimes you're going to win. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're not. Sometimes you might lose. Um, but it's just a matter of when and how. Yeah. So look back and be proud of the way you played the game of life. So look at the last two years, and look at be proud of what you've done over the last two years, and make 2022 something greater. Be prepared to take bold action. So how do you want to spend your life and what drives you? How do you want to spend the next year in 2022? And what drives you? What dri what's driving you in 2022 to do better than 2021 and 2020? Mm -hmm. So think about it. Think about it. Am I just going to go through life? Am I moseying on just every it's another day? Yeah. It's the same day. It's another year. We'll just do our best. Mm -hmm. Or are you actually going to go after something? And make a change and make it different. So what's your best strategy to find and follow your passion? What is your best strategy? I'm just going to do the same thing and expect a different result. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say to you, well, that's a pretty shit strategy. <laughs> that's not going to get you far. <laughs> so, of course, if you want a different result, you've got to be prepared to change your thinking, different. right? Yes. So the first sign of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different Here result. Here you go. Nick says he's going to wake up at 11 instead of 11.30. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got half an hour extra a day, Nick. Half an, hour, half an hour extra. <laughs> he's going to use that time to his advantage. <laughs> All right. So this is what really counts in life, right? How do you want to spend your life? What's driving you? Um, what's your best strategy to find and follow your passion? As this is what really counts. So the topic that we're talking about, going back to our topic, is it worth it to you? So ask yourself, is it worth it? What you're doing, is it worth it? Yeah. And if it's worth it, go after it. 
Put more effort into it. Make those bold decisions. <laughs> Kerry's put bold decisions, lol. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, Kerry. <laughs> so, um, and that's and, and that's what it's about, right? It's about yeah. taking risks. And we spoke about if you if you want to create success, like successful athletes or professional sports. Oh, look at the best topic that we could talk about at the moment. Novak Djokovic, right? You want to take a risk to get into Australia? He did it. And he beat the system. Well, he didn't beat the system. He did exactly what he needed to do in order to get into the country. Yeah. And good on him, I say. Good on Novak. And uh, I hope he comes out and gives it to everybody at the Australian Open and wins. And, um, you know, that couldn't, couldn't be a better story against what's going on with our governments and what they're what they're doing to uh, people around the country. So i um, really pleased that, you know, people take a stand for what they believe in and what they believe is right and actually, you know, legitimately um, set up an argument to fight the system that they believe is wrong, which it was. Um, so right. interesting. So that's pretty much us for today, guys. That is. Well, what have we got going on over the next week? We have got, we're hosting a live training call for our company tomorrow morning. Yes. So we'll be up bright and early at 5 a.m. and live streaming at 6. And that's for all of the business owners that uh, join us in our online business. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing that tomorrow morning. And uh, then Saturday morning, we're going to have another one. Yeah, yeah. We've got a uh, live business Q&A, which I'm a, a host on, on Saturday morning at 7.30 Brisbane time. And that's, uh, that's for people that have inquired into our online business. So, uh, and that's a global stream all over the world. Um, Greg so, said 4 a.m. for them. <laughs> absolutely, hey, it is. G'day, Greg. Welcome on TikTok. So, uh, so 4 a.m. for Greg over there in WA. He'll be on. And, uh, and then, of course, we've got, uh, we've got early morning streams for our business this yep. week. But look, great to be back. It's great to, uh, great to be back here this evening um, on Loving Life Now and, and bringing to you another personal development topic. And what a, what a fitting topic. It just happened to roll in to be... This was just the next topic in our in our uh, list of topics, and uh, I was pleased when I read about it and said to Lee, "This is the perfect topic. Is it worth it to you?" Absolutely. So, what you do this year, ask yourself: Is it worth it to you? How important is it, and uh, is it important enough that you want to break through and create success? Absolutely. So, thanks everyone for joining us. Thank you, and we'll thanks, uh, see you same time next week. Thanks for helping set up and join us. Anytime. <laughs> And we'll see you all next week. No, for those of you that are on the stream tomorrow, we'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll see you back here, Facebook Live, uh, Loving Life Now, next Tuesday at 7.30 Brisbane time. Thanks, everyone. Have a lovely Bye. evening. Bye-bye.